Over the past few months, it seems that the people at Windows are really trying to push their new AI feature. We first heard about it in, um, May of this year, and it was really spooky even then. But now, they're explaining in their official documentation that not only will Windows slash Microsoft be able to use AI and machine learning on your system, but even third-party applications will have the ability to do so. Um, this is the part that's really weird. They say that all of this will be done to improve AI features in apps. But do people really want AI scanning their information? They say that they will do this locally, but it's really hard to believe. Since Microsoft Windows is closed source, if you're a Windows user and you're thinking of jumping ship to Linux, I made this video just for you. This is Linux Mint. It is considered the best Linux distro if you are transitioning from Windows to Linux for the first time. It's generally considered very stable and rock solid. It can serve all your basic computer needs and it does this without compromising your data. Just note that some Windows applications may not work on Linux Mint, but even then there are viable Linux alternatives. Let's take a look at Linux Mint and how to use it. To download apps on Linux Mint, the easiest way would be to use the Software Manager app. We can simply search for an application and click Download. I'm going to search for an app called Chromium. Basically, Chromium is the browser Google Chrome is built on. It has all the features of Chrome without most of the Google stuff. We can just search for it and open it. There you go. If you prefer something more privacy-centric, you can also give Firefox a try. You can also download stuff like VLC and Steam, Discord, Spotify. For image editing, you can use a great program called GIMP. It is a powerful application for editing photos. If you want to edit videos, you can use an application called Kaden Live. This is a great application, and in my opinion, it is the most polished video editing application on Linux. If you want to update your system, the process is very easy. Simply go to the Download Manager and click on Install Updates. Let the Software Manager install the applications for you. Mint will occasionally tell you if any updates are available, but will never apply those updates without your consent. If you're worried about your data, you can always make backups of your system. Just open up the menu and search for Time Shift. This will make a snapshot of your system. In case if anything goes wrong with your computer, you can simply restore it from a backup. Simply click on Create and let it do the creation for you. Next. Um, when it comes to security, Linux is out of the box more secure than Windows. And most Windows viruses will not work on Linux. To add some extra protection, I'll show you some things you can do. First, search for a program called Firewall. Give it the password and toggle it on. The deny incoming and allow outgoing will be more than sufficient for most users. Now let's increase the security of your browser. You can install these extensions and they will greatly increase your security against malicious links and overall tracking. You can also install extensions like Dark Reader. This extension will give the websites you view a dark theme.
Another cool extension is Canvas Blocker. This prevents tracking as well. You can also use an app called User Agent Switcher. This extension will hide your actual system and give a fake user agent so you don't get tracked. If you are ever stuck anywhere, the next mint provides an easy way to get help. Just open the Matrix client. You will see that a shortcut for the Linux Mint channel is already available and you can join it. You can ask your support questions there and the kind people in the Linux Mint channel will help you out. Linux Mint already has some great applications pre-installed to help you with your day-to-day -day usage. Firstly, this app is called Archive Manager. As the name suggests, it can create, delete and explore archives. It's very neat, minimal and private. Another application is LibreOffice Writer. This is where you can write different documents. Another cool app is called Transmission. If you download torrents a lot, you can use Transmission. It's free, fast and has no advertisements. And lastly, the terminal. This is one of the coolest aspects of the Linux environment. You can do so many things here if you wanted. In most Linux systems, you don't ever have to use it. But if you wanted to, it's there. You can run programs, update your system, install new applications, etc. It's more powerful out of the box than something like Windows PowerShell. Anyway, if you're thinking of moving to Linux from Windows, I highly recommend you to try out Linux Mint. Thank you for watching and have a great day.